children today we shall get into the topic ancient civilizations of india under ancient civilizations of india we have covered in the previous capsule nomadic life becomes stable the first urbanization significance and town planning and also town life and its decline children in this capsule we will study about the vedic age and later vedic age in detail children let us know about the vedic age the aryan invaders were primarily nomads they were not accustomed to the urban way of life they cleared forests near river banks and settled in small villages the aryan villages were simple structures which formed the basis for architecture in india these huts were very basic circular and with thatched roofs over bamboo logs fences of wood and bamboo surrounded the settlement for protection against wild animals soon the demand for fertile land grew and rivalry spread groups of villages joined forces and thus small cities or clans called vees were born a group or clan formed a jana and their leader was the rajan or king The city buildings were made almost entirely from wood and walls protected each city. The Vedic carpenters became skilled at constructing timber structures and their techniques were used in stone constructions of the future. During this period the barter system flourished. Coins were introduced for trade and were called the nishka. It was during the Vedic age that the caste system was born. Due to work specialization, different classes of society developed. The Aryans made the single largest contribution to the Indian religion through Sanskrit. It was during this age that the Vedas were most composed. These sacred scriptures included Atharva Veda, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda. Two of the greatest epics were also composed during this period, the Ramayana and the Mahabharat. These tell us a great deal about the culture, society and religion of the people of that era. Do you know the meaning of word Veda? The word Veda means knowledge. The Vedas are the world's oldest literary sources. There are four Vedas. They are Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, and Atharvada Veda. Among these, Rig Veda is the most ancient one. It is about three thousand five hundred years old, and has thousands of slokas. They are also called suktas. It contains several mythological and poetical accounts of the origin of the world, hymns praising the gods, and ancient prayers for life and prosperity. The priests preserved the text by chanting Vedas as part of their daily lives. Yajur Veda. The Yajur Veda contains the liturgy mantras needed to perform the sacrifices. Sama Veda 
it consists of a collection of hymns means religious song sung in the praise of god portions of hymns atharvada veda the atharvada veda is less predominant than other vedas as it is little used in solemn that is sharuta ritual the lordly silent brahmin priest observes the procedures of the ritual and heals it with two mantras and pouring of ghee when a mistake occurs children you discuss with your friends and answer these questions name the vedas among them which is the oldest veda yes the answer is rigveda yajurveda samaveda and atharvana veda are the vedas among these rigveda is the oldest veda the social system in vedic age was called varna there were four varnas the society in the vedic age was a hierarchical one people were divided according to their profession they are brahman kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras brahmans engaged themselves in rituals kshatriyas assumed leadership during battles vaishyas engaged themselves in agriculture animal husbandry and trade the fourth varna shudras served the people of other varnas the vedic society had followed the caste system brahman one who possesses magical or divine knowledge kshatriyas endowed with power and sovereignty vaishya person settled on the land and shudras were the ones who served others the king had a hierarchy of assistants look at the chart king with his assistant purohit as teacher was a guide to the king for example vasistha vishwamitra and others were purohits senani who is a head of army and gramini head of village assisted the king in administration basic unit of administration was the village the head of the village was the gramini group of villages were called vish and vishyapati was its head many such vishayas came together to form jana or kingdom this was ruled by a king who would be called a raja or rajan those who ruled over vast empires were called emperors they were called by different names like virat ekrat or sarvarat here is an activity for you discuss with your friends and fill in the column the first column the communities the second is about their occupation fill in the second column start the activity now let's see the answer brahman were engaged in vedic rituals kshatriyas undertook leadership during battles vaishyas were engaged in agriculture animal husbandry and shudras served the people 
here is another activity for you. Fill in the blanks in the table. Discuss with your friends and answer them. The first one is done for you. Now look into the answer. Here is one more activity for you. Fill in the blanks in the table. Answer. Now let us get into later Vedic age. The map shows the sites of later Vedic age. Among these places, which place are you familiar with? Yes, most of the people of later Vedic age were settled in these sites. The political and cultural center at this time was Hastinapura, the capital of the Kauravas on the fertile Gangetic Plain. The Yadavas had settled in Mathura near Yamuna. They had built small kingdoms with capitals and administrative systems. The Vratyas had settled in the Magadha, which was prosperous under the rule of the famous king Bimbasara. He was contemporary to Buddha. The most significant feature during the later Vedic age was the performance of Yagnas and Yagas performed by kings to win the people's respect. Yagas like Rajasuya, Vajapeya, Sarvamedha, and Ashwamedha were called Samrats. The mode of worship was the performance of sacrifices, Yagna, which included the chanting of Rigvedic verses. Yagna involved sacrifice and sublimation of the Havana Samagri means herbal preparations in the fire accompanied by the chanting of the Vedic mantras. An essential element was the sacrificial fire, the divine Agni into which offerings were poured as everything offered into the fire was believed to reach God. People prayed for abundance of rain, cattle, sons, long life, and gaining heaven. Those days, people used implements made of iron. They would cut down the forest. Weapons made from iron were used to tame elephants. The people had learned cultivation of rice. This shows that they had good knowledge of mining, manufacturing implements, and agriculture. There were goldsmiths, basket weavers, rope weavers, and potters. Professionals like flute players, dancers, merchants, astrologers, and servants are also special features of later Vedic age. Children, here is an activity for you. Let's complete the columns that show the rulers and the regions they ruled. Rulers, Regions. Let's see the answers. Rama and King Janaka ruled 
Northern Kosala and Videha. Second one, Vratyas ruled Magadha. Third one, Yadavas. Yes, they ruled Mathura and Saurashtra. Note down these points in your notebook. Children, in this capsule, under ancient civilization of India, we have studied about the Vedic age. During that period, there were four Varnas, Brahman, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. And the administration units were village, Vish, Jana and empires. Then in the later Vedic age, where you find King Rama and Janaka ruled Northern Kosala and Videha. Vratyas ruled Magadha. Yadavas ruled Mathura and Saurashtra. Here are keywords to remember. Vedic rituals. Suktas. Yagna. Children, here is an extended activity for you. Highlight the features of all the Vedas. Observe their differences and similarities between them. Keep smiling.